hey you guys and welcome to the channel thanks for tuning in today i want to talk about something very important and i know when you search this video what you were looking for was how to deal with stage fright as an artist or as a singer there's one thing i just want to clear out most of your faves experience stage fright and somehow they still get the show done if you already suffer from anxiety there's really no doing it with it the best you can do is manage it so we're going to be going over some of your faves how they claim to you know calm themselves down and at the end of the day we'll probably talk about a thing or two about how personally you can you know get out of that hole thing and just like overcome stage fright so stay tuned don't go nowhere and we'll be back in a minute welcome back without further ado let's get into it beyonce um she's someone that i respect i love how hard working she is and she deals with stage fright she had to create an alter ego be the normal high shy and timid but like when she's on stage she expresses herself in another way entirely and it just embodies this whole persona another person into adele with her powerful voice and everything that she is she still has anxiety when she's on stage and when she was asked how she handles stage fright she's, she mentioned how like whenever she's going up there she just imagines herself to be singing to friends and like people she truly loves because she has like this love for her fans there's this like connection she has and so when she's on stage they feel like family and then she feels like a child again and she's able to express herself another person is rihanna demi lovato at one point harry styles had to walk away from the stage because he was too nervous to perform i mean these are people who are professional people who do this thing for a living so the whole idea of telling you about these people is so that you don't put yourself under too much pressure and feel like there's something wrong with you because you stop through stage rights i personally used to deal with a lot of stage rights like there's just something about you know being on stage that's quite different from when you're in the studio the funny thing is without being a performer there's this feeling about people are questioning whether you truly are are an artist something about performing stamps and authenticity on you this year an all-round artist and so most people would love to perform no matter what i had to do with stage fright in so many ways when i was a child there was a whole time i was singing and i fainted i kid you not i fainted right there in front in church all the pastors came around and started praying for me and then they thought maybe it was something weird i promise you i was just nervous i was freaking out i had frozen one time when i went for a particular competition and i was asked to sing and i freeze up in the middle of singing i kind of froze and you know i had to deal with the anxiety of singing right there and at the end of the day people finding out about this whole thing and then maybe making fun of me was broadcasted on tv and i was so ashamed of myself but these things i'm about to share would help out especially if you're a professional artist or someone who is planning to go professional and wants to do a lot of stage performances the number one thing is rehearsal so you can't take away from that know what you're doing like if you don't rehearse you will be confused and definitely you would have less confidence like you won't be able to express yourself fully so rehearse 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 with your band if you're playing with it and backing you know track or something make sure you know every single time in rehearse 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 so improve your voice make your voice more beautiful be able to control your voice and breathing exercises vocal exercises and things you can do to make sure that you sound the best that you can so because it's easy to get lost in the studio as a studio artist and you're singing and you've asked to stop after a chorus or mid verse and then you continue so there's really no pressure but when you're out there you're taking the whole thing straight up like nobody is gonna tell you to uh you know pause in the middle figure out yourself and then come back again or record again it's a one take thing and that's why it's very important to you know focus on, on developing your voice and you know how you sound thirdly when you hit the stage itself be calm when you get there sometimes like for me my heart starts studying like this like and when i stand there i'm like sometimes i crack a joke sometimes i do something funny but then i just like ease myself into it make sure my breath is relaxed because the moment you're breathing too fast trust me you're just going to lose everything like you just be destabilized so kind of calm yourself down and i promise you you get a hang of it next is i think you should avoid anything caffeinated for that moment do whatever you need to keep your mind clear you know some people want to get high when they want to sing on stage and try to do certain things i don't know how it works for them but i feel like when you have a clear head and you're trying to communicate an emotion and you're trying to communicate your music you would want to be conscious while you're doing that another thing that helps me is to do studio performances i'm not even joking so what i do is personally i record myself on my phone in audio not necessarily video so i turn on my phone and i'll go to my recorder and then i'll click the recorder and then if i have a series of songs that i want to perform maybe i like maybe do a mashup of like maybe six songs that they're about and i know exactly what i want to cut into or where i want to cut into each song i just like sing it repeatedly 
So certain things that I've repeated, you know, during the rehearsals and recording myself will stick to my mind. So when I'm, when I'm on stage, I know exactly what I'm doing. Like I'm not confused whatsoever. So recording yourself and listening, because when I record, I listen. Then I look, look at where I made mistakes and where maybe it didn't really blend well. I'll repeat it again, make sure I get that one right. And that's how I do it. Like most times I try to know my, when I'm performing like ahead of time so I can do all of these things myself and practice and if I have someone who's supposed to perform with maybe an instrumentalist or maybe a guitarist or a pianist I you know rehearse with them once or twice and that really helps them. and finally for me I shake my leg when I'm on stage when I'm frightened I try not to get you know to let people see the fright on my face and on my body when I'm performing from my waist up it's that's where I perform with but you see my feet I'm literally like, you know, moving my leg in such a way that, in fact, let me show you what it looks like. Like this. Yeah, I'll have to show you guys that one. Most people, when you're performing, they look at your face, except when you're dancing. But when you're singing, because most times I sing just me, my mic, and I just move my body a bit when I want to, but it's usually just my upper body that is engaged in the performance. So I focus any form of fear on my leg, and when I'm shaking it, instead of looking like fear, it sometimes appears to be passion. So I'm like, I'm singing passionately and then my legs are moving and you think it's passion and I, it's called fear. <laughs> so let me know if any of these tips help and you're not alone. There's a band where I'm going to go, so I have plenty, you would be great. <laughs> you know, so don't be scared and just enjoy your performance. That's the last thing, enjoy your performance. Just flow, knowing that after maybe a few minutes you blend into it, just get through those tough minutes and I promise you you're going to be fine. So take a deep breath and enjoy. Thank you so much for watching my video today. Um, don't forget to share and subscribe if this video helped you. And I'll see you next time. Bye for now.